Hey guys, what's good? I'm going to be showing you some simple, effective bodyweight exercise you can do at home, in a hotel room, in your living room, in the garden, outside, with relative ease. I'll also show you some simple examples of things you can do, which are a bit easier as well, which perhaps you might be able to achieve if you're a bit weaker or newer to this sort of style of training. You can start with some simple bodyweight squats first. So I'll show you a front profile and a side profile. This front profile is just here. I recommend just having your hands and your elbows round about here. Some point where it's not so low that your chest is compact, compact but not so high that you can't, you know, keep your um, your upper back upright, if that makes sense. So what you can do is squat down, this sort of speed. Go to a point where you feel comfortable where your lower back doesn't quite start to round. Then bring it up again what that looks like from the side is again trying to keep a neutral stance it's not about going really wide or really narrow it's just somewhere in the middle perhaps about shoulder width toes pointing slightly outwards and again you see that point there i'm quite stable but if i go much lower my back starts to round so i don't want that i want it to be upright here so so just maintain this sort of stance, this position. Perhaps three to maybe six seconds up, three to six seconds down. What I'd like you to do is get to a point in that sort of exercise where you can go to what I call technical muscular failure. So this would be achieved by training to the point that you can no longer raise your body or lift with your legs safely without injuring yourself. So. When you become a bit unstable, when you're shaking too much, that's the point you might wish to stop it. Now, if you're more advanced, you can push it further. Go to where you can't move at all, so you can't um, stand up, you can't hold for any longer, and you can't lower yourself any slower. So there's three different variations there, plus the first variation, which is, for most people, pretty much appropriate, which is technical muscular failure. So I'll kind of show you what that looks like, just in this example. So imagine I'm going down again, three to six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then so I'm going back up. One, two. Then my knees are shaking. That's when you should cease the movement. So no more past that point. Um, by that point, you might then say, okay, I need a rest. Might sit down, you know, take a minute or two. If you want to improve your fitness, that's the point where you then go to the next exercise. I'm then going to show you a wall set, similar to the, the, the squat, but there's no movement in this one, so it's um, a static or isometric contraction. So I'd suggest finding a point where your feet are in front of you, then using your hands behind you, go down, until you get to maybe around about 90 degree stance of your knee position. So knees to um, shin bone, about 90 degrees. You just hold that there still. Advanced technique is go a little bit lower down. Just hold that for as long as you can. Maybe 20 seconds at the start. You can build up to 60, 90, even 120 seconds. Um, by that point, you might want to add a bit of weight. So hold a rack sack, hold some tins of beans, make it a bit more difficult for you, yourselves. Um, from there as well, I'd probably say just keep your, your stance quite neutral. Don't be too overzealous to go too wide or too narrow. Just keep things on a neutral plane. That's usually what's safest. If you want to target more of the quadricep muscles, you'll push through the floor with your toes. If you want to target more of the hamstrings and glutes, so your bum muscles, push through your heels. So that's where there's a slight difference there. Now, if that one's too difficult for you, I'll offer variation for you. So you can actually bring your feet further forward and have your knees um, maybe a 100, 120 degree angle. So the distance between your shin and your thigh is greater. Therefore, it's more like you're standing up, so it puts less load for your legs. That's just an easier example. Now, for the next movement, I'm going to show you some simple push-ups. Probably do from about this angle here. So you just go down safely. One leg, one hand at a time. What I recommend for this one is to have a neutral grip again, or neutral stance for your hands. Keep it really simple. It doesn't have to be too wide, too narrow. And just be cautious if you have bad elbows, I might suggest going a little bit wider. But again, it's not that wide. It's just 
maybe neutral, plus an inch or two. From there, feet up. Tuck your elbows in. And push up. Again, maintain the same cadence I did before. Now, if you want to make that a bit easier, what you can do is you can actually go on your knees. Particularly good if you're female, perhaps you don't quite have the upper body strength yet. Again, simple movement, nothing too crazy. A classic body weight exercise. What I call um, a bench dip. So this will work the back of the arm muscles around here. So the triceps. Particularly good for a lot of females, they're quite concerned about that sort of thing. So you can move over here to the, the bench, so you can use a chair. Any stable surface, which is about, I'd say maybe knee height to maybe upper thigh, something like that. Again, you go down. Now, if you go too narrow with your hands behind you, you put a lot of strain through your shoulder and your elbow. And the same token, if you go too wide, it'll put a bit more stress on the um, the outer kind of side shape of the chest. So it'll make you a bit more sore around there in the morning. So the idea again, kind of neutral kind of grip. So I might suggest just sitting there like that, hands directly next to your, your sides. You just have, maybe start, but that needs to start to see how it feels. This is about as low as you want to go probably till you get a stretch in a tricep and the front delts, the front shoulder. Bring it up. Down. And up again, three to six second cadence. I'm not very strong at these, as you can tell. And to make it harder, bring those knees out straight. There's two variations there for triceps. Next, we've got a exercise which is targeting the upper kind of back musculature. I recommend using a towel if you have one. So basically a long towel, something maybe up to the height of about your shoulder, so a big long towel. I only use a band for this one just because it's a bit easy on my wrists and hands. What I want you to do is find if it, this is a towel, just wrap it around your hands like that. You've got a firm grip. You just stand on the towel. So I want you to keep a neutral spine, so not rounded, but not straight up like that. So we're in the middle. You must put your bum out outwards slightly. So you've got a slight stretch through the hamstrings, like the back of the legs. Then pull up. Now, because you're using a towel, it's not going to have any kind of um, give to it. So it's going to be a solid piece of tension as you do the movement. So I just want you to hold it there for maybe 30, 60, 90 seconds. A bit longer, a bit stronger. Eventually it will tire out your upper back musculature starts to um, weaken. Then eventually you'll just lose tension. And to um, reduce tension, you just bend your knees a bit more. Straighten your arms out. And get to that point there. So it's basically just a static hold like that. Hold it still, your upper back will bend to like shake and your arms would form as we worked as well. And that's that. Now the next variation to make it easier. Again, get down to the floor safely. So this is again with a towel if you have it. This is to make it a bit easier on your lower back. If you've got a, um, a sore lower back, perhaps an injury like myself, this would be a good kind of way to do it. Um, so still to train the upper back without really putting your lower back at the strain. So again, you just pull it. Try and get it as far back as you can. Now the emphasis here is on bringing your mid back back. So imagine you're not hugging a tree, but you're doing the reverse, trying to get your shoulders away from the center of your body at the front. And a good tip as well, if you want to get more tension through the upper back, maybe the side of the shoulders as well, the rear of the shoulders, is to actually bring your hands and pull them out, so that way. So that actually put more tension through the 
rear of the shoulder and your upper back. You'll hold it there, maybe 30, 60, 90, 120 seconds, you'll be in to shake and let go. Now you'll lose tension. So I'm gonna show you one more exercise, which will be a core movement or a trunk movement. I'll probably suggest doing this one, um, at least to start moving bent knees. That's all I want you to do. In this position, get your elbows and flex your abs. So imagine you're trying to bring, I don't know, bring your, your stomach inwards slightly. So towards your spine. So you're almost like sucking in, but flexing at the same time, so tensing it. So your stomach should look a bit, a bit like that. Then to increase the difficulty, all I want you to do is bring it out a bit further forward. Then this time go onto your toes. You'll hold that for about, for me, not very long, but for you guys, perhaps a bit longer. So this is very difficult, very challenging. If you're looking at doing this for maybe 60 to 90 seconds. And that helps strengthen a lot of the muscles in the front of the chest, the shoulder, you know, your arms as well, your abs. And there. So you're going to the point of, again, what I call technical muscular failure. So when your muscles will no longer let you push, pull, or, you know, the squat away without um, the risk of injury. So the point where your, your joints are no longer able to deal with it. So they start shaking, you know, if you're, you're doing push up, you know, things, your elbows start to hurt. That's the point where you might stop it. That's where you can do it safely. And I hope that video is useful to you guys. It gives you a little demonstration of what you can do at home with very limited or no equipment. I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you.